Hello, good morning, folks. Uh, just thought I'd do a quick film. Um, didn't do anything over the weekend. Was very, very busy. Um, spent Saturday watching the football. Um, unfortunately, here um, I don't have that many channels. I have Freeview, and uh, I have the standard sort of BBC, ITV channels. Um, so what we do here in England, um, I think the American terminology is a sports bar, but I may be wrong. Uh, probably Greg the Egg or Scott could correct me. But what we do is on a weekend, we go and watch the football in a pub. Um, they have a huge wide screen, and we can watch the matches in style. So on Saturday, I spent all day watching the match. It was Liverpool versus Chelsea. And uh, Chelsea is literally 20 minutes down the road from where I stay uh, with my auntie. Um, I should have been a Chelsea supporter, but because I was born in battle in Reading, I went with Reading, and thank God we drew this weekend. We're out of the relegation zone. But back to the Liverpool match, it's one of the best matches I've ever seen for tempo. It's just amazing. It ended in a draw, but Daniel Sturridge at the end scored one of the best goals you'd ever see. It was pure quality. And uh, it was a late kick-off as well, so uh, we didn't get home to the early evening. Then uh, when I came home, I saw Greg the Eggs uh, video on the Sunday, and it was one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. Thanks very much, Greg. But uh, I just thought I'd show you a few bits and pieces that I've added to the collection or I've been listening to, in case reading, and uh, see, see what you think. Um, the uh, Tonight, Reading play again. This time we're playing a London side, Queen's Park Rangers at home. And I uh, hope to God we can win tonight. There's a lot of football on tonight as well. But uh, musically wise, I've been listening to a lot of stuff. And uh, the main acquisition is this one. Now this one's on the VC a lot. Um, Cloudy Mould has seen them live. I believe they're supporting Ram in a couple of weeks time, he told me. But this is a 9 out of 10 CD. It's a, a band from Southampton, which is weird because when I go to Reading... The train eventually ends up in Bournemouth, but you get off at Southampton before you get off at Bournemouth. But uh, this this uh, CD just blew me away. It's just absolutely brilliant. Nine out of ten. Um, the band's originally from, as I say, Southampton. It's got the, a great uh, front cover as well. And uh, I also ordered a T-shirt, but I'm waiting for that. But that's Toledo still. If you haven't discovered them, buy them. The next one... Um, I was watching Metal War God's channel, and uh, he held up a few, and I bought about four of them, but I haven't listened to two of them, so I'm not going to put them on this film. But one CD he did hold up was this band from Sacramento in California, and that's uh, Grey Shadow. And uh, this is absolutely brilliant. I've been playing this one most of the weekend. Um, if you're into bands like Within Temptation, Nightwish, with a bit of Aman Amath thrown in, you'll definitely love this one. Um, it's got killer artwork on the front, and it's a female singer, and she's got absolutely phenomenal voice. And it's just an amazing record. Um, I loved it as soon as I played it. It was right up my street. Um, here's the uh, front cover. And uh, it's just like a 9 out of 10 CD. I believe they're on tour in America at the moment. I do have another one of theirs. I haven't listened to it yet. But I will give it a spin probably today. But it's just an absolutely brilliant CD. And I'll show you that artwork again. But uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that one. Now, I don't know if you've been hearing, but at the end of the month, Bohemian Rhapsody comes out by Queen. And uh, it's been years in the making of that film. They're actually releasing it. And I recently read the Queen autobiography again. Oh, sorry, biography again. Autobiography, something you written yourself. And uh, I've been listening to this CD a lot as well to get myself in the mood for Queen. I bought this at a charity shop. But uh, I'm definitely going to see the film Queen. Can't wait. But uh, I've been sort of reacquainting myself with a lot of Queen stuff. I do like a lot of their stuff, and what you've got to remember is I've got quite a lot in their collection because this is, was the band that introduced me to rock in the early mid 70s when Bohemian Rhapsody was playing. And it's got some great stuff on here, 
but uh, not the song I really like was Brighton Rock but it's got a great version of Who Wants to Live Forever I prefer the live version to that but it's got all their usual songs on there the only bit, and it was great because it's really the first time I played Queen for years I can't remember the last time I put a Queen CD on uh, another al album I purchased um, last week in uh, Rockbox in Camberley was this one. I've got this album. I mean, it's, um, I've got it on vinyl now, and I've, I've got at least a couple of copies. Um, this is featuring Ronnie James Dio, and it's just a killer album. I love it to bits. So uh, I uh, bought myself another copy of it. And uh, if you don't know, I just learned a stupid fact which I wasn't aware of before. Apparently, someone pointed out to me Dio is the Italian word for God. So, uh, yeah, you've heard it from me anyway. But if you get, speak Italian, apparently, because it wasn't his real name, wasn't Ronnie James Dio. But the word Dio in Italian means God. Uh, talk of another rock God. I've been doing a bit of reading, and I can read, folks. And people have said I'm too thick to be able to read. Um, but I'm going to quash the rumours now. I can read and write. But uh, the book I've been reading at the moment is this one. And it's a killer read. Um, it's Axel, uh, w William a Bill Axel Rose, or William Axel Rose. It spells war. And it tells you the story of the Guns and Roses in L.A. And I'm really enjoying this book because it gives you some great insight into the L.A. scene at the time. Um, you have bands like Poison and uh, Great White and um, Jet Boy. And all sorts of bands. Uh, Quiet Riot was another one that was mentioned. And how uh, Guns N' Roses came up through the LA scene. They just recorded Appetite for Destruction. Um, they're about to go on tour. And that's about as far as I've got with it at, small, at the moment. But it's a really, really good read. Thoroughly enjoying it. Talking about the book. I thought I'd show a couple of C uh, CDs I got last week. And that's this one by Izzy Stradlin. Now, Izzy Stradlin used to be, was, was one of the original members of Guns N' Roses. But he left, I believe, in 91. But I've got this CD. I think this is one of his solo CDs. I haven't got round to hearing it yet. But all I know is he's got a few, some of his, most of his original material. And some are cover versions. But to go with that one, I've also got that one as well. I picked these up last week. And... Um, whether they're any good or not, if you've heard them before, put your views in the comments below. But I haven't got round to hearing them yet. But I can't wait to give them a spin, because he wrote a lot of stuff for Guns N' Roses as well. But uh, I'm really going to enjoy listening to these anyway. But anyway folks, that's me lot for today. And uh, I just want to wish everybody, ho hope you love each other, and keep the peace. Take care until next time. Bye.